we have arrived to Kindle Shop. Okay, so we're just arriving to Kindle Shop. And this is a local card shop here in roughly Seoul, Korea. So we're gonna do a small little detour. As you can see, this is the, the Korean version of the uh, Shiny Bee Crobat box. Pretty cool. They do have some English cards here, as you can see, but it's a little expensive. It's 140,000 won, so that's about $130 USD. Uh, you got your plane mats over here. And then this is my favorite wall, all right? So here, all the new recent um, boxes of Korean. So this is the new Rapid Strike, or Rapid Strike Single Strike, Astonishing Bolt Tackle, Darkness of Blaze, Legendary Heartbeat, Explosive Walker, V-Max. And then you come down here, you got some Sun and Moon. And then there's actually one set I haven't seen, and I'm quite tempted to get, but this is what I came here for. This right here is, oops, let me keep it this way. This right here is a Diamond and Pearl, and it's a vintage Korean box. I uh, have not seen these anywhere, and it's freaking awesome. I'm super excited. This is actually the first time I've been here, and he's had X and Y boxes. As you can see, it's a little bit more pricey, well, because it's no longer in a print run, so that's pretty cool. Down here, you have Steam Decks, the Korean versions. Um, and these are kind of like elite trainer boxes. So the, the unbroken bond elite, oh, whoops, elite trainer box right here. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm not for sure what this is, to be honest with you. Uh, I have not seen it before. It is a 10. Maybe it's a, a version of an elite trainer box. Let's see, let's see what's in this. So it looks like it comes with two boosters of the base set and it looks like maybe VMAX Rising. So maybe just like a little starter box. Um, we got some of the single strike and rapid strike uh, little binders. It's cool. It comes with a uh, card pack. But onwards, um, they got some deck deck boxes here. Um, when this shop opened, they started mainly in magic cards. Uh, they they didn't ha really have much of Pokemon cards. So as you go, uh, they sell singles, and that's also another reason why I'm here. Uh, they do have some single cards but overall it's a really cool place you know um right now we're d during a time of pandemic so not a lot of people are here but let me come over here and we're actually going to check out some of their single uh single pokemon cards i think he just recently started taking foreign cards so like cards in another language like uh chinese he's got some japanese in here and then, of course, what I'm looking for is the Pokemon cards. Now, this is freaking awesome. So, uh, this is like XY era, but all in Korean. So, this is pretty cool. This is their EX cards. Oh, I love that Flareon. Look at that Jolteon back there. Oh, man. I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. And we got some more down here. EX. Oh, Sylveon. Beautiful card. We got the end trainer. Oh, that's actually, what is that? That is Korean, yeah. Oh, nice, look at that. We got the Mega Charizard, nice. Oh, look at this Palkia. Oh man, I'm so freaking excited. All right, cool. We got some more down here, another Dragonite, a gold card. Oh, this is awesome. If you guys don't know, XY is like my favorite series in Pokemon. And then these are the foreign cards he has, which I'm definitely thinking about picking these up to complete my um, collection in English as well. Uh, if you don't know, I'm trying to collect all the XY, ultra rare, secret rares, the promo, EXs, all of these. So, but yeah. And then over here we have I believe this is Hidden Fates, um, shiny babies in here. So you got the Charmeleon. Um, yeah, as you can see, they're kind of warped. Um, it's because they don't really press their cards as well. But come down here, we got some promos. You got some Korean Champion Leagues MGs back here. That's pretty cool. A Copperage, a Mewtwo cards right there. So. Super cool stuff, super cool stuff. Now I can't wait, super excited. And uh, I'll let you guys know what I get. I'm actually thinking about buying a box here and opening it up for the channel. So I'll catch you on the flip side.
Hey, what's going on guys and gals? And we are back from that long road trip from Seoul. Man, was it a wonderful trip. <clears throat> I got to meet some amazing people there at that card shop today. And uh, Tim and Lou, if you're watching this, I'm glad I got to run into you guys. You guys were absolutely amazing. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, went in, I ran into these two gentlemen. Uh, we were looking at the same cards, we got to talking. Uh, we both just happened, or all three of us happened to have our collection on us, and we were looking at some of the amazing cards uh, Kindle Shop had. And I know I said earlier that I was coming for a certain box, and I, I did, and I got it. I got this Diamond and Pearl, but I didn't just get one. I got two. All right, it was, uh, it was awesome. I was super, super stoked. Um, but not just these boxes. I went ahead and got the uh, Champions, um, ooh, I wanna say it's Champions League box. Um, this is the Korean version. Uh, it is slightly different, uh, different than the Japanese version, which all three of us gentlemen found out. And Tim Liu, I'm completely sorry, I failed you on that part, but it was still a wonderful time. Um, so the difference between this box and the Japanese box is that the Japanese box is only 10 packs with 10 cards each and every pack in there has a guaranteed EX, Break, or Mega Evolution card. Uh, now this set came out towards the end of the XY era. It kind of recapped all the cards, essentially. Um, so the difference with the Korean set is that it's actually 20 packs, all right, um, with five cards in each pack, and it's not a guaranteed hit in each pack. Um, I want to say it ended up being like half the packs were hits almost. So it was a little different. And the cards, we were not expecting this, but man, were they beautiful cards. And I hope to open this someday on the channel, but um, I save it for a special occasion, honestly. But these cards were absolutely beautiful. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, the Japanese cards, they were more like uh, reverse hollows. All the cards in each pack was a reverse hollow. Um, to me, the Korean set is beautiful. It's better than the Japanese set. And you're probably like, what? No way. And it was. Um, instead of just uh, the whole card being uh, reverse hollows, all, all the cards being reverse hollows, they were like, the full card was a holographic card for all of them. And it was like cracked ice um i know some of you know that saying because of that cinderace misprint where it was like a crack ice hollow just picture that all over the card like the whole card it was beautiful it's absolutely stunning um so like i said the maybe a special occasion i might open that box um and I, you know i look forward to it but i did pick up a box like i said i would and this is the box that i got to open for today's video um super cool i've never opened this box before uh it has 30 packs in it each pack containing five uh five cards a piece uh the set name for this one is island awaits um it mirrors the same as the japanese set just in korean it has hangul um, we're going to see what the pull rates are like for it. I've, I've yet to see this box open uh, myself, and I've yet to open it myself. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, today, uh, today was just absolutely crazy at the card shop. Um, freaking, we were sitting down, and my wonderful wife, Emily, had went over. So... I had bought, well, first, yeah, let me backtrack. I had bought, um, after I bought those boxes, I went ahead and went up there and I bought a box of Rapid Strike and a box of Single Strike. And I was like, oh, let's open something in store, you know, and uh, let's see what I pull. And if I'm not mistaken, I got the Secret Rare uh, Mimikyu Full Art, uh, which was pretty cool. And then I believe I got the Secret Rare Tapu Coco before I just cut all these. Um, so yeah, it was super cool. Uh, then me, Emily, Tim, and Lou uh, witnessed a gentleman behind us. Uh, he went ahead and bought a box himself and it was quite funny because of the simple fact that we were talking about how, you know, I haven't seen anyone pull 
the alternate art V Max uh, in Korean or Japanese. I've, I've yet to see anyone pull it uh, on a live video, but I was like, man, it, I really want to open that. I, you know, I really want to get that card. <laughs> and this gentleman behind us, sure enough, buys one box, opens it up, and what does he get? He gets the single strike V Max alternate art card. And I'm just like, no freaking way. Let's just, that card was absolutely stunning. Like it was a beautiful card. And he just nonchalantly opened it. Like he had no cares in the world. He didn't really care for the card or something, but he just opened it. Like no expression on his face, no expression of joy. But not only did he open the alternate art V Max, he went ahead and bought a um, Shiny Star V collection box in Korean. And the very first pack he opens, my wife is like, babe, you're not gonna believe this. He just pulled the water trainer. I was like, what? He's like, he pulled Skyla. I was like, no, he didn't. And if you don't know, I'm currently working on the complete master set in Korean of Shiny Star V. And I am missing three trainers, Skyla, Marnie, and the Eevee kid. And that is it. Like, other than that, I'm missing, like, I think 20 baby shinies. And I, I will have a complete master set. That's all I'm missing. And Marnie has just been, man, she's, like, tossed in my face. <laughs> I was like, I can never pull her. I've pulled so many Charizards and Shining Fates. It's gotten ridiculous. And I was like, I can't, for the life of me, pull, sing, like, just trainer cards at all. I think I've, myself, I've pulled... The Bird Keeper and the one that's got the two trainers on it. I can't think of the name. But I pull those personally. The other ones, I I have bought and or traded Charizards uh, for those uh, trainer cards. Just for the simple fact, um, I have opened, I want to say I've opened up equivalent of 40 booster boxes of Shiny Star V in Korean total. And... <laughs> I've pulled nine Charizards. Uh, I believe it was four V Maxes and five Vs. And I, I've just pulled. I pulled a bunch. It's it's ridiculous. And along with Charizard, Eldegoss. Eldegoss. I can't. I can't shake Eldegoss. So, but yeah, I've pulled a lot. So it just irritates me because I see so many people open up shiny star V around me. Like my friends here in Korea, they'll open it and they'll pull the trainers. They'll pull Marnie, they'll pull Skyla. And it's just like, Oh, so upset, you know, but I'll, I'll, I'll get her eventually. I, I will get her. Uh, the thought of just personally buying her has crossed my mind, which Kindle shop does have her. He's got nine of her exactly Marnie. And I think he's got six Skylas. And I've, I've thought about purchasing them. I, I honestly have. I was like, it would just save me money in the long haul. But man, it would just, it would be so awesome to just pull the card myself. But again, that costs a lot of money. <laughs> money that I don't have. So maybe uh, next time I go up there, uh, I'll, I'll probably purchase her. So I know uh, the gentleman, uh, the store owner was kind enough to hold uh, an XY box of each one, uh, which they had Ancient Origins and Breakpoint up there, the equivalent. Um, so I was just like, awesome. You, you're you a kind, kind gentleman. And he also gave me something from his personal collection, which I'll show at the end of this video. Um, but it was the Korean version of the Honey promo card if you were to pre-order the Rapid Strike and Shingle Strike. So it was really cool. He's a really nice guy, awesome store. Uh, best store I've come across so far. But other than that, let's get into this Pokemon box. So the card uh, I am chasing for in this set today uh, is the, I believe it's the, Trainer card, Hollow. Uh, I love trainer cards. Um, Hollow is pretty, pretty cool, man. But that, that is the card I prefer to get. Hopefully, I can get it. Uh, um, like I've said in previous videos, in these Sun and Moon boxes. Ooh, nice. We got a Hollow Dropma. Um, and these Sun and Moon boxes, 
it's not a guaranteed uh, hit for a secret rare, I should say. It's not a guaranteed secret rare in each box. Um, so hopefully I can pull that secret rare today. But we'll, we'll have to see. Um, other than Hala, the Turtinator, uh, I think Turtinator is pretty cool. You know, a little fire rip off of a Blastoise essentially, but it's all right. Um, the Turtinator Rainbow card would be ideal as well. But yeah, the cards in this, this, uh, this set, there's not a lot in this set. It's actually a 50 card set, so not a lot. And I believe there are 11 secret rares. No, 12 secret rares. There are 12 secret rares in this set, so. Uh, the set came out on uh, March 17th of uh, 2017, I believe. So, but, ooh, nice. Wish guys. Overall, just super excited. I mean, it was a great experience today. And that's that's what I love about the Pokemon community. It's It just brings people together, you know? And it's awesome. People from all around the world. You know, I, I got to talk to Lou and Tim and... You know, I was like, you know, what what brought you all over here to Korea? And they're actually uh, teachers, which is really cool. Uh, it's the first time I've ever ran into teachers um, that, you know, teach English to Korean kids. I thought that was really cool. Um, but yeah, a great couple of guys. Um, can't wait to meet them again. Hopefully, uh, the next time I run up to Seoul, I'll bump into those gentlemen again. So I mean, we definitely talked about trading. We had so many extras. So yeah, I look forward to it. Oh, nice. So we got a hollow glycopod. Super cool, nice card. Um, I will say this though. Uh, Tim, you are a lucky man. You skated away with a holographic Charizard card from Champion's Path for $15. Or not Champion's Path, my bad, Evolutions. Um, I just saw the CP on the bottom of the card and I was thinking Champion's Path, but no, you walked away. Uh, so, as you know, um, when I was at the Kindle shop, I went there because they had English cards and I was super excited. It's not often you see English cards in a Korean store. Um, hold on that real quick, but here's this beautiful Victini card. This is a nice hollow. Um, so back to the story. So it's not often you see English cards like that especially like XY cards and um, not just XY, but generations. Like I was so surprised to see generation cards that like he had them. And so I was super stoked. And it wasn't just the English cards. He had the Korean versions as well. And you know, I love XY. XY is an amazing set uh, that came out. My favorite, I love Mega Evolutions. The uh, best games there are, so, uh, X and Y. But, um, he was he was honestly asking way too much for the cards and I'll be completely honest um, And I think the reasoning behind that is one what he had to pay for the cards himself So like he was probably selling the cards to make some money um, But two like I said, we're in Korea. So English cards aren't normal um, as you seen earlier. I picked up that um, ETB of uh, Vivid Voltage, and he was selling it for $140,000, or 140000 won, which is exactly like $130, $135 in USD. So, like, that's pretty expensive. And yeah, uh, some of the cars I was looking at, he just wanted way too much. Um, for instance, I wanted to pick up those full art Gardevoirs uh, from Steam Siege and Primal Clash. And he wanted, I think it was $50 for the Primal and 40 for the Steam Siege. And I was like, man, I can definitely get those a little bit cheaper on eBay. Um, but then <laughs> I was like, hey, how much do you want for uh, that Pikachu card? And um, I believe it was the Generations one, the promo one that had like the little badges on the side. Uh, I actually think it was like RC something. I can't remember. But he wanted $150 for that Pikachu card. And I was like, absolutely not. No way will I pay that. And the same with the Mewtwo. Uh, the Mewtwo full art cards, he wanted $150. And I was just like, where are you getting these insane prices from? Because I know for a fact that you can go on eBay 
and get it for like 30, 40 bucks maybe. But, oh, it looks like we got something here. Here we go, here we go, what did we get, what did we get? Oh my goodness, guys, look at that. You know what that stands for? Hyper Rare, we pulled a Hyper Rare card. What did we get? Oh, beautiful, look at that, Tapu Coco. Oh, that's amazing, oh, that's awesome. I can't believe we pulled this card. That is freaking awesome. Like I said, uh, pulling something like this is not guaranteed. Man, look at that reflection. Ooh, that is beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. And I believe this is our first GX card too. Have not pulled another GX card. Oh, wow. So we got the Rainbow Rare GX Tapu Coco. Beautiful, awesome. Super excited. That's a beautiful card. It's all right. It's not a. It's not Terminator. It's not Hala, but I will definitely take it. That's a. It's a win in my book. So let's continue on. But yeah, as I was saying, he, uh, he wanted way too much for the English cards, and it's a. It's all right. I mean, I can definitely find him somewhere else. You know, just I kind of feel sorry for the poor soul who walks in there and you know drops that kind of money on one card. <clears throat> so, but. It's interesting. I, I don't know exactly where they get their pricing from or how he got his pricing. I assumed he just went on uh, eBay or something and looked up. Oh, to follow it. Wow, look at that. We got the GX Tapu Coco. Oh, man. As much as I hate this guy, I I'll take the card, honestly. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. There's our first normal GX. So, really cool. I'll put that right there. So, but yeah, I, I just feel sorry for him. I think they were searching on eBay uh, when I was looking at his computer, but I couldn't really tell. It looked a little different, but it's all right. We'll find him. Uh, I'm sure I can just, you know, go on. There's plenty of websites out there that sell singles, and that's probably what I'll just have to do because Lord knows it costs way too much for a pack now. I'd rather just spend the money on buying the individual card. So, and I know um, another cool thing I saw that he had in that shelf and I totally skipped it. I think I looked at a card before it and it was the freaking silver Dialga card uh, from Phantom's Force. And I was like, no freaking way he had that card. That was honestly the only card he had what, whose price actually fit like who like the price actually fit the card and um he wanted a hundred and forty dollars for it which is which is average like if you find uh, a mint a mint one they they range anywhere from like a hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars uh on ebay so that was the only card and i really wanted that um we all know how hard that card is and not just that is the only card of its kind like the only full art silver card there is in pokemon and it's just a beautiful card. But yeah, I totally overlooked it. I just saw like like something like super shiny and it was I wasn't even paying attention to it and then my wife was like, "Babe, you totally just overlooked that silver Dialga card that you've been looking for." I was like, "What? He had it?" And she she showed me and I, <laughs> Oh my goodness, my jaw dropped to the floor. I was so excited. Every time I go in there, I'm like a a kid in a candy store. I just want everything. I just want to buy it all. So, but it, it's an awesome store. You know, he's so organized. Uh, maybe you could see it in the video behind the counters, but they organize their cards and he's got like OCD. It's amazing. He's got them all catalogs. So he's got two computers in the shop. You just simply go onto his website um, and you can, you know, sort through, you can filter out what cards you want, whether it be you know, just standard rare, rare cards like this, you know, RR, uh, you got the triple R cards, uh, secret rares, hyper rares, gold cards, you got supporters, trainers, uh, Pokemon, so much. You filter out, but um, nine times out of 10, he has the card that you're looking for, um, except for some of the more expensive ones. He's, he's run out, like the uh, Hidden Fates Charizard. Um, first time I went to that store, he did have one. <clears throat> he did want quite a bit of money for it, which is normal. Uh, you know, that card's obviously it's worth it. But yeah, obviously I didn't have the money to just drop on drop on that uh, 
card, but man, it was beautiful. Super nice. I love the shop. You know, I got some recommendations from Tim and Lou for, uh, you know, other, other cities that have card shops. So can't wait to go and check those out. Maybe uh, all of us can head down there one day and check it out together. Super, super cool. All right, we got we got six packs left. Um, I'm surprised. We pulled quite a few hollows. We got six hollows. We got a beautiful GX type of cocoa, um, and then we got the rainbow rare version of them. So that's pretty neat. But let's see if we can pull another uh, GX card. So, yeah, and like I said, it is a very small set, so you're probably gonna see a lot of duplicates in here, which is normal. Number four, we got three more packs after this. All right, still no GX. Wow. So many, uh, I'm surprised, like, there's not a, not a lot of pulls for this one. All right, there we go. We got another hollow. Actually, don't think we have this hollow. That's pretty cool. I'll take it. That cute little koala. That's a nice one. All right, this is the last pack. Let's, let's see what we get. Can we pull another GX? All right, Heliolisk. All right. Oh, that's the last card. I'm I'm completely uh completely brain farted on that one. <laughs> but uh, there you go. You know, uh, last card. We did not pull another GX, but. It was a quick small recap on this. It's got one, two, three. Oh, look at that beautiful chance card. Or no, that's Blissey, isn't it? Yeah, it's Blissey. Victini. Oh, not bad, not bad. So I think I think drop is the only uh, double we pulled when it came into hollows, and then obviously we have the Tapu Coco GX, super nice card. Don't have this one yet, and then the Rainbow Rare, super nice. Um, I will say this: the Rainbow Rares in the Sun and Moon are like a hit and miss when it comes to like the Korean cards, because I, I just think like maybe the design of the card or the um, what do you want to call that? The texture it makes it look a little more saturated. Let me see if it's just, I mean, it's just the sleeve. No, it's definitely the card itself. So, um, it just looks more like foil, but there is texture to it. It's really nice, but <clears throat> I don't know. Sometimes, like I said, it's a hit or miss with these cards. Sometimes they really pop and you can really tell they're rainbow rare. And then other times they're, they're just a little, uh, saturated, but Overall, uh, super happy with this box. I'm, I'm just super stoked that we were able to pull a hyper rare of all things from this box. Super, super awesome. But thank you uh, for joining this video. Uh, if you liked it, you know, subscribe, drop a like button. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment. Tell me what I can do better or what you would like to see. Um, I'm all about feedback you know that's the only way to make the channel better for you guys um so yeah just just hit me up and i, I can't wait again i really look forward to the day i can open this on the channel and just you know share the experience with the whole world it's super awesome super awesome box uh, beautiful cards like i said um uh, you know my opinion i'm entitled to it the cards look way better than Japanese cards. And that's all I have to say. Uh, Japanese was definitely slacking when they dropped this set, but Korea, Korea picked up where they uh, slacked off. So love it, but thank you again. Um, have a wonderful day, have a wonderful weekend, you know, deuces.